that we've all just walked into this warehouse and started having it. Do you know no. what I'm saying? Right. The police couldn't do anything. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> and I think, you know, there were so many little loopholes in the law. That's when they come with this criminal justice bill thing to just shut everything down. Because you were taking it to the wall. We were taking it to, to the, the wire. Fucking, yeah. Taking it all the way there, bro. Do you know what I mean? We had lawyers with us. Do you know what I'm saying? Some of the promoters, like, walked, turned up with their lawyers, with them. Killer, killer, boop, 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 podcast. KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. THTC, the UK's leading ethical streetwear label. Organically grown and ethically built garments from hemp, organic cotton and other sustainable materials. 2019 is their 20th anniversary year. Join me with THTC as a Killer Keller podcast sponsor celebrating music, social activism, hemp and street culture. THTC, eco-fashion redefined since 1999. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Podcast. Big shout to graffitikings.co.uk. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're for a real problem here. <laughs> yeah, switch on now. Yo, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that sultry voice is not just the uh, the host, the guest, uh, uh, well, probably the host, actually, to be fair. You've got so many stories. The guest of today's show, but he's also the man with the mighty hands, legacy holder, DJ Supremo, sex, drugs, drum and bass, you name it, the big and heavy man himself. Be recording st- Don Jumper Jack Frost. What are you saying? What's up, baby? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh boy, am I excited. What's goody? Oh man. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Lockdown. Yeah. But you know, we still keep moving. Yeah. We still keep moving. Yeah. We still keep moving, bro. Yeah. I really it's appreciate you coming through too. Yeah, we, we was meant to do this a while ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? But <laughs> better late than never, eh? Yeah. We're good. Right, You're yeah. good, bro. Mm. We are indeed good, and we have uh, plenty of time to chew the fat, get into it. Yeah, man. Let's get into this. First of all, mm. Big Bad and Heavy on its third run. If you're listening and not watching, then you're clearly out of the zone. Check this out on the vid YouTube. Don't fuck about. Big Bad and Heavy is the book, third time around, eh? Third, third reprint, man. I'm grateful as hell that so many people are interested in my life story, man. That actually spins me. You know what I love about these sort of books, right, is from a genre mm. of, dr- of jungle drum bass, mm. it's very rare you get a autobiography. Outside of Goldie, maybe? I don't yeah, know many yeah, other... Yeah, I don't know, that. I don't know. I live, a, I live a qu- quite a colourful life. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I live dude. quite a colourful life, so, yeah. <laughs> um, when did... Where, first of all, did you have such a... Oh, you're yourself, aren't you? Yeah, Brixton, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been there all your life, haven't you? I've been there all my life, man. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I started off robbing banks. Do you know what I'm saying? When I was young, I said rob banks and rob people, rob drug houses, be in gangs and stuff like that. Was that through being being in, in close proximity to the action? You just yeah, fell just, into it? Yeah, it's, it's just the way... It's just the way I grew up, man. Yeah. Just... It was all around me, do you know what I mean? So yeah. I just like, all my boys, we, we just all grew up like that. Yeah. So that was my life. Do you feel like, and I'm going to dive straight into this one, because it's a question I've wanted to ask somebody that's quote unquote reformed. I mean, mm. although it was a long time yeah. ago. But do you see like the repetition, you know, the big cycle of as, as generations pass? Does anything significant change? Do you see the, the trends and the way that people, kids are now or young people are now? I think it's just, you know, you're a product of your environment, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And um, me, especially, I can speak for myself. Growing up, that's all I knew. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's mm. all I knew. Mm. And you got that. You got that. People around you, all your role models. That's what they did. Mm. And you know what I mean? You look at you see the fast money, the cars, and you know at that time that seemed like the only mm. way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the only way out. You You're know what stuck I'm in, the, in a rut, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. that's the only way out. So all, all you can do is get that money the only way you know how, because you're not going to get a job. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. The police are kind of. Because I, you know, when I was young, the police had, 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 you know, you know, I don't know if you know, if you remember the law called sus. Oh, that rings police, bells, yeah. The police would just like get young black kids, mm. eight, 17, 18, and just fit fit them up for a crime. That's that right. Didn't exist. Well, that's still. And, that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, they're still doing that shit now, and um, and that way you got a criminal record, and you, it's difficult to get a job at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know they they the, it was systematic systemic racism. Yeah, yeah, you know of course. What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah. So you know, it's the only way 
I knew how to survive mm. was by robbing and mm. robbing people and robbing things. Yeah. And then I discovered music, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Systemic racism. I mean, I've seen what I've watched um, old school videos of breakdancing and graffiti and stuff uh, down at um, uh, Covent Garden. Mm. And I see the way the police responded to young black creatives doing their thing yeah, yeah, at that time. Yeah. I mean, I'm not suggesting for a second much has changed, but there was a total, almost like a zero tolerance. It's no, like, man, it's like it's fucking, they're just like, they're just, their job is just to fuck us up. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're like, it's like a yeah. cold. Like, listen, you get those black niggas, before they get to 20, I want all of them with a criminal record. Suppressed. Just boom, keep them down. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, so yeah. nothing's changed. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was, I was caught up in that cycle for a while. You know what I mean? Mm. And then luckily, you know, I, always, I was always kind of interested in music and and I just kind of, you know, got into music and I was lucky enough to to make a career out of it mm. and get out of the get out of the, the really? life. Do you know what I'm Thank saying? Fuck you did. I remember <laughs> I bet you get this all the time as well. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I had these tapes, boy, I had these tapes, and I was just like, they were my prized possessions because being from the country and being as young as I was, yeah. you know, not everybody was into jungle. They liked the hardcore, heavy, hard yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, or they liked the hip hop. Now I love I loved hip hop. Yeah. But the moment I heard I heard this tape and it was you, Moose, I think I think Skibber and Depp jumped mm, on the set as mm, well. I can't mm, remember what it was. Mm. But anyway, rinsed it, burnt the tape out. It was almost like a lifeline to a, a message. To a, it was like it was, hip hop was news. Yeah. But this was like this was like the nightlife news. Yeah. This was like what was going on. Yeah. Changed the whole game, didn't it? Man, you know, I heard that a lot. <laughs> I've mm. heard that a lot. And it's nice to hear that because, you know, this music that we play it reaches out to people from all backgrounds, all generations. Mm. And you know, you got people from like way in the sticks that they hear it and they're just walked straight away. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And um, it makes me, you know, I feel a lot of pride mm. when I hear things like that. It's you know like a rad radar, like an yeah, antenna, like yeah. beacon, like yeah, firing yeah, it out yeah. there. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful thing. The, 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 the culture of it, um, it's. And this is the only way I I saw it. It, it was it was a lot of you lot back then were doing a lot of hard, hardcore stuff. Yeah, happy hardcore. Yeah. Was a, but wasn't oh, it called happy hardcore? It was I wasn't, really, else, wasn't, I wasn't it? really doing the happy hardcore thing. I was, you know, I was, you know, it was hardcore. Like started off with like rave music. Yeah, that's and it. And then yeah. it went into kind of hardcore with the breaks and stuff. Yeah. And then out of that jungle was born. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And then you got some people that went in that, that happy hardcore way. That wasn't me, you understand nah, what I'm saying? get you. I just stuck to, I, I mean, I'm a junglist for life, you know what I mean? I think what changed it for me, as a, somebody who, who likes lyrics and likes mm. the presence of a performance, yeah. when the MCs and you guys started collaborating and make, you making your own beats and yeah, stuff, yeah. that's when I was like, yo, this has got... It, all of a sudden, it, it had a four-wheel drive to it. It wasn't, like, it wasn't like rave music where you'd just be giving people a soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, know what I mean? You yeah. were giving people more, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Did it spin you out when you were when you were elevated from like room two to like room one? Um, yeah, because there was that transition, wasn't there? It was a quite. A... I've always been in room one. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been in room one. Right? Okay. <laughs> I've always been in room one. Yeah, like, like, like you said, I've always been in room one. Yeah. Um, but you get where I'm from in terms of people's perceptions and stuff. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. It evolved pretty yeah. quickly, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. It evolved pretty quickly. Um, because I don't know, because I was there. From the sorry, I was there from the beginning, from like from like the days of the warehouse parties and mm. raising the fields, mm. and to watch that transition all the way up to jungle was beautiful, and um, it's like just like a natural progression, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, Shy FX was very much into the rave thing. Um, there was like the likes of DJ Sai and Rat Pack. Yeah. Groove Rider as well yeah, and yeah, Fabio, they yeah, were all in yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the way you guys fragmented, it was almost like a calling, like you had this thing kind of, you knew it had more legs than what was the, the impression it was given in the yeah, clubs, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. does this book re reflect this? I mean, within the context of what we're talking about now, I mean, we, I'm pretty sure you get a hell of a lot deeper in this. Yeah, it goes, it goes real deep in there, man. It's like the full story of my life from when I'm in school. Mm. Like, I've got people contributing. If you look at the who wrote the foreword, mm. it tells a lot about the levels in this book. All oh, right, so what were you saying in here? Yeah, forward by Hank. Oof. Hank Shocker, God damn it! 
Go, go, go. Oh, my God. So you, so you see what's up. So for real. <laughs> Hank wrote the foreword for me, man. Jesus. That's my guy, you know what I'm saying? He's You've a always, friend of mine. I always get the impression as well, and again, this is, uh, this, this is good convo fodder, mm. because you were into hip-hop as well, ain't you? Oh, yeah, man, definitely, yeah. definitely. Which, which, which I think for anybody that in, was, was in the early 90s business, there was a, and I don't know why the fuck this was, there was this divide. Mm. If you're a metler, hip-hopper, Raver, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an old school b boy. You know what I'm saying, I'm an old school b boy. It's funny because I was once a judge at the world world mixing finals as well. What did I see? Yeah, Stop I was a it. judge. Yeah, I was a judge there once. Because like us, you know, business taught me how to do the business. Big up thing. Billy, come on. Billy, Billy taught me how to do the. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, you're not leaving this house until you can do it. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's like, you know, it tells it my in-depth the transitions and mm. for reggae sound systems all the way through, it just tells the whole story. So you, it was reggae sound systems? Yeah, too? reggae sound systems, that's where I first started off. Really? You know what I mean, when I was a kid. Yeah. You know what I mean, because I'm from Brixton, so. Yeah, of course. You know, yeah. we were just, you know what I mean, I was, it was got to Josh Shaka, mm. Frontline International, Cox and <sighs> Saxon. That's that's like that's where we, that's where I started off, and then Damn. then from there we, you know, the, um, moved moved into like I used to go up to Covent Garden and watch people that do the b boys. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. You know, and I, was, I start going to African Centre. Yeah, that's right. Start hanging around with soul to soul guys. Like Jazzy B's a good friend of mine. Mm, he's, con like he's, in, he's contributing in his book as well. It's quite a lot of people contributing. Goldie, yeah, I saw that like, on the back yeah, here. Yeah, quite we, a lot of people contributing. Yeah, to Goldie, it. Ronnie Size, Congo, Natty, hold tight, Congo, Natty, Tom. Brian G, uh, your partner, Brian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jazzy V, DJ Ron, legendary DJ Ron, Tipper Irie, and what Tipper Irie? Jesus. Yeah. I mean, this is quite. This is like a broad. Yeah, scope, tips are good. Tips like a, he's like one of my one of my closest friends, man. Like you know, we're talking every day on the phone up to now, still. You know. What I find, Rick, like we're talking about here, but like you started. With the sound system, yeah. you were in a rough area. You were doing the, you were doing the, you know, the bits and bobs in between the music, and you were yeah. kind of grinding and getting your feet out, yeah. out of the, the, of the mud. Um, it sounds to me like there was just this, this energy, this ball of energy. Well, a lot of these people that were coming up at the same time as you, they, they just had that yeah, yeah, idea. Yeah, well, all of us were just like, you know, was like a, like a vehicle just moving mm. in the same direction. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes in different genres, but we were all moving in that same direction. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which is beautiful because I'm, I'm in the middle of making an album at the moment. You make an album? Yeah, I'm halfway through it. And um, so that's what we do in lockdown time. Like, yeah, up. that's it. Lockdown. What I done? I said, you know what? I'm gonna make an album. Yeah, so fuck that. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> I got tip up. I got a tune with Tipper Irie and mm -hmm. Carol Thompson together on the beautiful. tune. Beautiful. I got a tune on there with Terry Walker. Old tight Terry. Omar. Oh my God. Maxi Priest. Um, um, like Ragga Twins, oh, I've got loads, loads of features That's on there, man. Fire. Yeah, it's like loads of features. Ragga Twins are just your okay sign, aren't they? They're Come like, on, man, who do who? <laughs> who, who else? Who do who? Yeah, mate, you know what I mean? Yeah, I need to talk. You're talking about legacy holders right here. That's right? It. and the name of the album is Legacy. That's the name of the album, man. And the thing about it, I'm doing, a, I'm doing another book as well. I'm halfway through another book. <laughs> And I'm hoping I can have the book and the album come out in the same day and both call Fire. Legacy. Fire. Legacy. Oh, sound, yeah. the soundtrack to the... Oi. There you go, yeah. bro. So, you know, I just locked down and I just thought, you know what, get your head down mm. and just get some shit done. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. what I did, man. you got to hustle that thing you got, you, got, you got it, man. You know what I'm yeah, saying? you got yeah. it, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Did, um, could, could the reason why I find your, your story particularly interesting mm. is the background of... of the British culture and hip hop, and you, you, you do, you've embodied it all the way through. Yeah, where it's not been. A, I, I not for once thought to myself, oh, you know I mean, JJF is all about the money. He's not. Yeah. I feel like he's more no. got more integrity. He's more about yeah. the, the I'm about the craft and the art. Yes, do you know what I mean? The upholding of the craft. If you do what you do well, then money will come to you. But it's not the be all and the end. Or it's not mm. the reason why I do things. Do you know what I'm mm. saying? I do things for the challenge and for the mm. art and the craft. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And, you know, just I like to challenge myself and push myself. Mm. I'm very driven. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? I find I think I'm very driven. You know, I, just, I always want to achieve what's next, what's next, what's next. That's mm. always like, I'm always thinking what's next. Mm. What am I going to do next? Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And 
that's where I'm at. And that's, that's what's kind of taken me from there to where I am now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. I'll continue to do the same thing all the time. The process of back in the day of creating dub plates and mm. making records mm. and releasing mm. them, uh, uh, it, I always found like the idea of a, of a junglist DJ is like, these are like, this is ammunition. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to the rave. And you're gonna fucking plaster the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Bombs. what it's all about. You're just gonna bomb it out, man. <laughs> and I was there, when is it? I mean, God, how many times have we we bucked in so many different places? Mm, but mm. one particular was the last fabric before it shut down. Yeah, yeah. Um, v recordings with Eris hold tight, okay. Um, and yo, the, the the sounds that were coming out. I mean, like you had them. Yeah, like, it's crazy, crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. That was a crazy night. You know what I'm saying? Mad. That was a mad, crazy night, you know? And it's it's funny because we were the first we were the first people to ever do a night in Fabric. The day it opened, mm -hmm. the next day we had a Planet V party there. And it was it, it, yeah, the first that the first I remember when when we were going in there to do a sound check, they were still putting the light bulbs in. Do you know what I'm saying? And really? Yeah. So like lastminute.com? Yeah. We check, were, check, one, two, one, two? Yeah, we were the first ones to ever do anything there, man. Wow. So to go back um, all those years later yeah. was, 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 was nice. It was a huge night, wasn't Yeah, it? it was nice. It was a big night. You know what I mean? It was yeah, nice. that's fun. The whole art. Like, like you were saying from back in the day, you were, you know, it was it was pre um, crim, uh, criminal justice bill. It was pre, it was like, yeah. no, right, it was like yeah. rave in the, cl in the cl country. Yeah, was, yeah. You'd travel yeah. out, unlock yeah. things. Yeah, da, da, da. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you must have been crazy that many years on to have been sitting in fabric and just seeing... Crazy, man. It's just like sitting there and just... And it was nice as well. You know, I didn't have a drink or anything mm. until well late. Mm. I just wanted to be present in the moment mm. and just check it out and just... Mm. You know what I mean? And later when I got plastered. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, <laughs> I was proud of you guys. Yeah, oh, it, was, for it was a really good night. To really think really how far the, the world of... of Clubbing had come up to obviously crazy, down, crazy, it? crazy. Yeah. I, feel, I, I do sometimes I'm on a plane going somewhere or I'm somewhere on the other side of the world and you just sit and think, like, wow, do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, especially now with all this lockdown, there's plenty of time to reminisce and shit. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, which I've been doing quite a lot recently, just like, oh man, yeah, you know right. what I mean? But you're itching a little bit, you want to go back, you want to get back out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You want to get back out there in the field. You know what I mean? Actually, tell a lie. I know it. We was at the party. We were at the 45th. That's why we was at the party, yeah. at Kemi's party. Yeah, I'll take her, that yeah. That was nice. She's in, she's in Zanzibar That's at the right. moment. That's right, she's yeah. Bro, that was, that was the, an unexpected place. That was a beautiful. That was beautiful. I went there, I was like, oh, that was nice. I'll take Normski as well. Yeah, Normski, my brother. What's up, baby? Yeah, yeah that's my man. boy. Yeah. Beautiful, was, yeah. It was so sick. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. People get, you know what I mean? People go on, then. Listen, and the thing about it as well, we were all like, we were all just like, so desperate for a party. Yeah. And it was just like, because that was literally my first time seeing people. Yeah. For, uh, when I first, I was like, yeah, 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 it, it yeah, felt yeah. Like nervous being around That's people. Right. I was like, because I'd literally just been locked off. Do you know what I'm saying? You. I was with you all the way. I was like, nervous as well, because the thing about it as well, I lost my cousin due, due to the virus. So I was, peace, I was, I was extra nervous. Yeah. I was just like, Proper scared in my house, like That's I'm not coming right, out, I'm not yeah. coming out, I'm not coming course, out. Course. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it was, it was difficult. So being around everyone that day was just like it took me about 15 minutes to adjust. I was like, climatized. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck, man? I'm around people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And then they, everyone just it was it was almost like because as a party, ladies and gentlemen, this was just as the first lockdown stopped and we were allowed. To, well, parties were allowed to happen in people's houses. This was to a greater extent a raven house, wasn't it? It just went yeah, down. Yeah, it's a raven in a mansion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it went Because when they said to me, yeah, it's, it's quite a big house, I was like, okay. It was a very beautiful house. It was a beautiful house. The whole, yeah, I mean, it's massive. The whole massive. was just beautiful, beautiful. The whole thing. And beautiful people as well. You can, it's like a, like a, you can film a fucking rap video there. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. Like beautiful. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I mean? Multiple parties and all that. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful, that's beautiful. that's right. Um, and speaking of which, I mean, like, yeah, we have, in many different yeah. manners. Winter Music Conference through to, you know, I don't know, IB for uh, all these places that have now... But you're a, you're a veteran, like, you from the beginning. Yeah. Tell us some stories from, like, the early South Down days of finding a field and raving in oh, it to, to then. It's crazy, because, I, I don't know, I think it's crazy. I remember once, you know, we was like, they're like, yeah, we got to go to this warehouse party. We go to a warehouse party and we're walking across a field and they're like, we've got to go across the motorway. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I've got my record box and we've got to literally run across the motorway. 
It was like cars going up and down. Like, no, it wasn't like, it was like two o'clock in the morning. So it wasn't really busy, but there was still cars going up and yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. And like, I, going, remember, you know, you're going across a field to get up to the motorway, you got those ditches at the bottom. That's right, and then you got to go really high as and well. And you got to go really high. <laughs> and these are the days you got a fucking metal box, metal record box. How many you got? Just one big oh, box, oh, but it's enough. Like banging against your leg yeah, and yeah. shit. Oh. And I've already oh. walked across the field with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you got to go across, run across the motorway, Go down the other side. So when I've gone down the other side, obviously I've slipped tonight and I've gone down. Shh. And a lot of ditches are full of water. So I'm fucking soaked. I'm soaked. I'm like, fuck's sake, all my shoes squelch, squelch, squelch. Yeah, yeah. So walking across the field with my fucking record box, the police are there. Oh, they're already ready. They're like, nah, but we've got our lawyer with us. And the lawyer's like, listen, you're not allowed to block this path. So. Hold on, you have lawyers with you when you're going we've to. We've got a lawyer. We've got lawyers with us. We've got lawyers with us, yeah? Oh my God. <laughs> we've got lawyers with us. So the police, so that the police, the, the, um, the lawyers like, listen, this is a public path. You cannot block Stop us from going there. up there. Everyone, come on, everyone, follow me. So we've all just walked into this warehouse and started having it. Do you no know what I'm saying? Way. The police couldn't do anything. Do you know what I mean? And I think, you know, there were so many little loopholes in the law. That's when they come with this criminal justice bill thing to just shut everything down. Because you were taking it to the wall. We were taking it yeah, to, to the, the wire. fucking, yeah. taking it all the way there, bro. Do you know what I mean? We had lawyers with us. Do you know what I'm saying? Some of the promoters like. Walk turned up with their lawyers, with them. Do you know what I mean? It's like, fuck the security guard, bring your lawyer. Oh, my God. And I guess with the money that you could potentially be making, you could pay them off in an evening, couldn't you? Mate, well, DJs weren't getting fuck all. Pittance, really. Door, Back in them yeah. days, they'd say, like, oh, mate, it's 200 quid, something like that. A couple of pills. Yeah, it's a couple of fucking pills. <laughs> yeah. It's 100 quid. Like, yeah, 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 great. Now, like, fucking give me the bag. You know what I mean? mm, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> they all come up the hard way, even the lawyers. Come on, man, way. give me the bag. <laughs> um, give me, you know, for the, for the, for the uh, 14-year-old in me that wasn't there, give me a, a visual perspective of what it was like in those environments. Give me, what, 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 oh, what were you likely man. to see? What was the feeling? What was the mood? I don't know, you just go in there, man, the lasers, mm. people, just the love from people, man. Mm. You know, everyone was just so loving. Mm. Everyone's flying on pills and mm. all that. It's mm. like, hey. Mm. It's just like, at first, I was like, what the fuck are these people doing, man? Like, oh, I'm not used to this mm. shit. I'm from Brixton. Everyone's like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they got people saying, hey, man, to us my water, man. Fuck that, I don't know fucking water, man. Do you know what I mean? But it you must have been a culture shock in a way. It was a fucking way. shock. I was shocked. I was like, what the fuck is this, man? Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But it just took me, man, and I'm, you know, it just took me. You know, after a while, you just get used to it. It's like mellowing down. It's it feel just... like a different life. It felt like a completely Batman, different, Batman completely and different life. Completely different Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Completely different life. It's beautiful. Do you know what I mean? At first, it was like shocking, though. Like, yeah. whoa. how old do you have been at that time? Nineteen, eighteen. No, yeah, no, no, 20, 21, 21. Oh, yeah, that would have been twenty-one, twenty-two. It was like you know. Mm. Yeah, fucking long time ago, bro. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, at least eight years. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, it's, it's, it is mad, isn't it? It's, it's crazy, bro. You, it's the hardest life lesson when you get yourself into those situations because you know music is the, gu the guide. Music is the, the booklet. And you, it's telling you a way and you're like, uh, uh, yeah, but I'm not really... Uh, do it. No. <laughs> but mm. you do it and then it serves you right, doesn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy, man. You must have had a lot of those examples where you were just out of your depth thinking, oh, wow. I've had so many, so many, so many experiences like that, man. Mm. I remember once being in, me, Fabio and Brian, we were in, we were in Berlin and we got caught in the middle of a Nazi, near a Nazi march. <gasps> and we're just like standing there and we got all these Nazis running past us. Eh! And we're like, but they never done anything to us. They're just running, running past us. Eh! And we're just standing there like this. Like, Fuck sake. Sake. Yeah. This is like fucking... Late 80s, do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Early, so I think about 1990, something That's like that. It's a whole different ball game back crazy, then. Crazy, bro. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, I've been, I've been, I was in New York, 9 11, I was there. You were there, wasn't it? I was there, like, fucking, I played a gig the night before. I woke up in the morning, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, evacuate. Like, what the fuck? What are we fucking, what are you talking about? Open my fucking window, like, see all this fucking smoke and paper and everything. I'm like, what the fuck? That's the definition of a shitstorm right there. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, they're like, evacuate, leave everything. I'm like, fucking, are you crazy? I'm taking my record box. Mm. So I'm just taking my, mad? I've yeah. got my box and I've got my fucking big Louis Vuitton rucksack. This was in New York. You were it's, actually it, buying... I'm there, I'm there, mate. I'm mm. like fucking, like... So you weren't so in, in Brooklyn or nothing, you were like in, in the Manhattan, mix. In Manhattan. Wow. I was nowhere near it. I was like about 40 blocks away. So you could like smell it but near still, it. Still, I'll never forget that smell. 
Really? Yeah. And I was like, fucking, I had to evacuate my hotel. I was meant to be flying to, I was meant to be flying to do my next show in Denver the next day. But obviously all flights are cancelled mm. and I fucking couldn't get hold of anyone. I had to go and check myself into a cheap, cheap like bed and breakfast. Like yeah. down near fucking Canal Street. Do mm. you know what I mean? Mm, mm, mm. And let's try and get all the people on the phone because all the phone lines are down, everything. Do you know Because I mean? everyone's trying to call everybody. It was fucked, mate. It was like the most scary, mm. scary time ever because I didn't know what was going on. At first, I thought it was a war. Mm. I thought, wow, mm. is this World War Three? Because mm. I thought that... You were so like, in it. They're like, you were under attack. I was like, oh, you know what I mean? Then, got, then, then the next one, then, then I'm on the street and the fucking... The, play, the second one goes and we're like... Oh, we're under attack. And I'm like, whoa. It's only when I've got into the other hotel and I've sat down and I've gone, yeah. And I've gone, oh, shit. All that time I think there's a war going yeah, on yeah, or something. Yeah, because you're in the I'm mix so deep. shit in it, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, was it like a level of PTSD after that? I would have been thinking, wow. I, 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 for a while, what, if, what happened is for a while, every time I saw the fucking images of the Twin Towers mm. coming down, mm. I get the smell come back to me again. Really? You know so I mean? yeah, really yeah, that yeah. deep? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, what else? Fucking, I was in Berlin when the wall came down. <laughs> oh, that's a look. Playing that's a party right. the night when the wall came down. Bet that went down. Crazy. Do you know what I mean? It's just, yeah, I've been, yeah, I've, I've kind of been around, do you know what I'm saying? Because you kind of, uh, and this is where I take a little bit of envy for the characters like yourself, mm. And for um, <clears throat> admiration, actually, more people people that grew up in a certain era, like whether it was the punk era, whether it was like the, the jazz funk fusion era, they, 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 they kind of hit those real spikes in history. They yeah. hit those monumental moments, like yeah, the yeah. Berlin Wolf, yeah, and you were yeah. playing there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, that shit doesn't happen that much. It's crazy, bro. Do you know what I mean? There's been other things as well, like, just like, I, I, was, I was in Puerto Rico once, I was in Puerto Rico, and like, um, I was there, there with a the promoter and I was like, I wanted to go in the water. And he's like, be careful. There's a hurricane and Mr. F the Mr. Island by 400 miles, which is not a lot in hurricane terms. <laughs> so the waves are up like this, yeah? <laughs> so fucking, I'm in the water swimming and the waves just picked me up and just threw me on the beach. Like I was like a penny or something. I threw me in the air, like about, right, about 20 feet in the air. Just went, Knocked you right out, yeah? And just landed on the fucking, on my hip. Just like, oh, like that, but it's... Yeah, like, just like, you know what I mean? Last thing you want to do is go to hospital and those kind of countries. Like crazy, bro. One. Do you know what I mean? It's just, you know, I'm blessed to have been able to, like, see the world and have these kind of experiences. Mm. Some good, some been bad. Some not, you know, as you heard, not, not, it's all hasn't always been a bed of roses, but I'm, I still feel grateful and blessed. Do you know what I'm saying? Sex, drugs and drum and bass, though. Yeah, a lot of sex, man. A yeah. lot of sex, a lot of drugs, really? a lot of drum and bass. Do yeah, you know what lots mean? of sex. I mean, like, it was another, I guess that was the the, 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 the generation of, of love and acid. Oh, and... mate, that dropped me the hell out, mate. I'm like, oh, I ripped the arse out of it. <laughs> you really, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think people misunderstand the idea. It's like, no, no, it's mutually accepted. Yeah. Both sides are up for it. Yeah, <laughs> it's that yeah, time yeah. of the year. It was that season. It's that most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> you, you look at it sometimes now on some of the more current genres and mm. generations that have come. And, and I, I just, I'm not sure whether they're having as much fun. I know, man. It's crazy. Do you know what I mean? But I, I don't want to sound like an old fart when I say that because you got the old, you got the old lot. Oh, he's not like in the sixties. You know what I mean? And, and we think, ah, oh, fucking shut up, you old yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? So <laughs> you don't want to be that guy. <coughs> I don't want to be that guy. You get me? So yeah. You know. But the truth be told, we have a lot of fun. They had a lot of fun. They had a lot of fun. So hence, hence a little grin on my face. That's right. That's right. For those who are listening and watch, what not, what, are not watching, there is a, a Cheshire cat grin just going whoosh, straight right. from here to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you and Brian were a formidable force. Yeah, you? yeah. When was V recorded? So when did that kick off? 1992. We started the label, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, like you know, we had Ronnie. We met Ronnie in Crust. Mm. Um, at the time, Brian was at Brian was at Rhythm King working. And um, Dead went bust, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And they had all these demos lying around. Mm -hmm. Brian took the box of demos and we started listening through them. Mm -hmm. We found these, oh, like, found, we're like, who the fuck are these guys here? Mm -hmm. So we contacted them and the rest is history, man. Crazy. Crazy, isn't it? Legacy holding, come on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we put a lot of work into that, man. The guys are phenomenal, you know. There's mm -hmm. Ronnie, Cross, Die. Um, They'll die. Oh, phenomenal, phenomenal yeah. guys. These are unsung heroes, man. Phenomenal guys. Aren't they, aren't they? Oh, really? phenomenal. 
But you, you know, I mean, Ronnie went on to do such seismic things. Yeah. But, but the, the whole collective. The whole collective. Whole type dynamite. Yeah. Dino. Oh. What a voice. You know what? You know the crazy thing about it? We weren't in a world, we weren't in a tour around America. Mm. We had these two massive tour buses, yeah? Mm. Like rock stars, like mm. proper rock stars. <laughs> and we was on tour for a month, going from city to city. Mm. And it was just the most joyful experience mm. being on the road. It's like family, mm. all on the road together. Like, it's just crazy. Like, I mean, we had the most crazy tour manager. It just like, yeah. we'd be like, there, we have like a Kentucky bucket full of weed. And like all other little bits and bobs lying around. We finish it all, go to sleep, wake up, and it's all reloading again. We're like, how the fuck? How did that happen? How did that happen? <laughs> he's like, he's like, I've been doing this for a very long time. We're like, whoa! Where, where did you get a time to fucking reload all this stuff? Just like reloading again, like, what? Yo, he must have been a dealer or something going from state I don't to know, state. What the fuck, man? But every city we went to, man. It's full up. Fully loaded. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. What a way to be. If you was a drug dealer on tour doing tour driving and all that, yeah, that's totally the way to go, isn't Come it? Come on, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, touring 101, surely. Come on. Um, Crust as well, man. Wow. Crust is, and he's got oh. the most incredible album out at the moment. Oi! Come on, then. Crust's new album is Fire. absolutely mm. incredible. Do you know what I'm saying? It's very Crust. Or mm. experimental, but it's what we love. It's, it's the cross that yeah. we love. We the, love him. Yeah. The era that I love is of that. Yeah. Enforcers, the Metalheads era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys, you know, like that, that's the shit. I like. I like to know that I'm in safe hands. Yeah. I like to think that I. I pe you're making music, and you're not. You know, you're giving people more credit with the intellectual properties of it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Some people just go A, B, C, boom, have it. Yeah. But uh, there just seems to be a lot more thought and consideration for the listener with yeah, you guys, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, I we saw, I mean, when we started, I mean, when we, sorry, I mean, we started with the fucking 12 minute tracks. Cross went through the stage where he did his tracks for 12 minutes. Yeah, and everyone's yeah. like, you can't have a track for fucking 12 minutes. Mm. We're like, what the fuck? Mm. Of course we can. It's like a fucking story. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's like punk in itself. It's just the other way around. Yeah, man. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, look at Goldie's fucking mother. Mm. That's like 20 minutes long. Yeah, 20 you know minutes long, yeah. Far and on, it's a fucking ma masterpiece. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, yeah, we can do what the fuck we want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I always feel like jungle. Like, I mean... You know, there was this kind of backlash. I don't know what the media was. I don't know, I don't know why this was, because, again, I'm a big MC fan. Um, I think Stamina put it rightly as well. Mm. I, think, I think it was him. Anyway, it was, a, it was a, uh, a, an IGTV video that was put out. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think MC's got a bit of a bad rap. And I, uh, uh, early jungle. And mm. I, I still kind of don't understand it, because for me it was like, I OK, you've got these man. epic songs. Yeah, you got these I epic don't know, tunes. man. I, I think that... I think that, you know, I think that MCs have got their place. MCs have got their place. A good MC is a good MC. Mm -hmm. And I mean, a bad MC is a, a nightmare. MC, a, a nightmare. nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> and there are a lot of them. But the good ones, they're fucking, they, yeah. they, 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 can only make, they can only make your set better. You favorite know what I mean? MCs, favorite MCs you've worked with? <sighs> Oh, this is this is a political one, nearly, nearly. Oh, spicy, spice crew. Diner, Diner, <laughs> Diner. Oh, yeah. Diner, unsung Dino. hero as well. A lot of time. Diner's my bro. guy. Dynamite's yeah. my guy. He's you just know. so punchy. Dynamite's got a guy. You know what I mean? He's my guy. Mm. Dynamite, Shotter, Skibs. Mm, I'll touch Shotter, Skibs. X Man. Yeah. The beast, X Men, the beast. Oh, uh, he was just he was just winning awards. When I first met him, he was winning awards. I yeah, thought he was doing a, stuff. He's yeah. A, he's a beast. Um, and I like I like the host I like the host inside of it as well that like GQ Moose was a great host wasn't he Moose is a fucking Hall of Famer mm, yeah <laughs> Hall of Famer yeah you know what I mean I like the host I'll inside of it as well just people yeah. like just hold it down and yeah. take, him, take you on this little journey with the music you know what I mean Less is more. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. You know what I mean. So you got different kind. Then you got like the Cleveland Walkers, who's like a host mm. slash he artist. He was there that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Great. Yeah, he's like. Yeah. You know, he's like. Shout out Cleveland. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and he's like, yeah, he's, he's got, he's got, he's got, got the vocals as well. He's either. got letters. He's got letters before his name as well. You know what I'm saying? MBE. So. Oh, come geez, on. See? See? There you go. So we're dealing with it on the podcast. What do you, what do you think you joined here for no reason? You fucking get another chip. <laughs> Yeah, it's right, and it's 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 it moved into the DMB Tech era, mm. Ed Russian Optical yeah, kind of yeah. road, yeah. Um, and then moved further into the commercial. Yeah, you must have just been what the fuck, crazy man. You know, it's just 
it is, it's a progression. Yeah. There's always going to be that kind of poppy element mm -hmm. and you're always going to have the underground kind of element that mm -hmm. is just, you know, mm -hmm. set in stone, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I think you, you, is, there's room for all of it. There's room, you got some people mm -hmm. that just make these like cheesy shit <sighs> crack on. Mm -hmm. There's room for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you kind of have to have it, don't it's not, you? It's not really my kind of thing, yeah. but there's always room for it, you know what I'm saying? And you got the other kind of, kind of really sketchy the John, John bass that's like punky that's kind of mm. bit like not really my kind of mm. thing you know what I mean mm. I'm a groove I like grooves mm. I like soul and you know funk you know what I mean I like that element of John bass all that kind of mechanical I can't, I can't do it you know what I mean I feel like that way with some hip hop stuff particularly the new new stuff which is almost like by numbers but then at the same time you know I remember my entry holes into a a, a scene, you know, and it wasn't all, you know, the coolest of shit, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's some of my mates who are getting off at Do the Bartman, do you know what I mean? And it's like, well, that's still rap, I guess. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, but they get into it and then all of a sudden they're into hip hop. Yeah. So, I can know. So, at least I think, you ain't got, I think there's a difference. <laughs> between, between, like, do the Bartman on the There's a difference DMV. between rap and hip hop, it's two different things. Mm. Hip hop is a culture, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like some, a lot of the rap music now has got fuck all to do with hip hop, you know what I mean? Fuck all to do with hip hop, yeah. Absolute crap. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I can't stand Drake. Mm. Can't stand it. Mm. Not in it. No, and J Cole and all that. I I really appreciate the work rate and the talent. Yeah, but it's just not my cup of tea. I feel that. Do you I know feel what I'm that. Saying? Yeah, I get. And I respect you saying. And that, I respect for real. like the fucking. You know, they make good music. They work really hard. Mm. But it's just not for me. Mm. You understand what mm. I'm saying? Mm. It's not for me, man. Like it's, it's a bit cringy, man. Like, not for me. It's when I'm a fucking. I'm a mob deep guy. You know what I mean? I'm a mob deep man. I'm a cool G rap man. Yeah, that's you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a cool G rap guy. Yeah, you gotta sell it to me, man. I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm that guy, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm that guy. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I mean, I'm a fucking rock rock him, the god. Mm. I'm that guy. You mm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because that's that's the that, that's the sentiment, isn't it? I find like with Drake and the other guys, as much like you say, their industriousness, their pro they're busy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's great. Yeah, and, and, I, I respect their I respect the hustle, I respect the art, yeah. you know what I mean? But it's just not for me. Yeah. Like with the right drink, after a couple of them, you, oh, be, you might be dancing. But oh, the yeah. truth is, they 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 like to think that they are hip hop in the, the rawest sense, or at least that's the interpretation. Mm. Like they are the new something. And it's like no, 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 no. It's not hip hop, not though, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. not hip hop. It's not hip hop. Yeah. But you know, you know, and you got these other guys who are all fucking tattoos in their face and shit. That's a whole other level. And fucking yeah. snitching on people mm. and this shit. And yeah, like, how can you be a snitch mm. and be fucking? When that guy mm. come out of jail and he's a mm. snitch and people are working with mm. him, I'm like, what the fuck? The, the, you know what? This is America at, at its heart, isn't it? It's like all the questionable things from the Chris Browns to, you know, the, I don't know, the, you know, you guys. And like, you come out of jail snitching yeah, on they, people and people are working with you? They just like, accept it, don't they? Really? Yeah. Like, what the fuck is going on? Mm. Yeah. I know, I know. Crazy. Crazy. What the... What the, were the craziest, most significant those kind of moments that have happened in Jungle in your career? Like where you've thought to yourself, fucking hell, that happened. What the fuck? Um, I can't think of anything like that, really. Yeah, no, I'm trying to figure no, out. No, I can't stuff. really think. We don't, we don't tolerate any kind of shit like that. Don't you? We get you the fuck out, man. Like, fuck that. You know what I mean? There is a, there is a, um, a, a, a Knights of the... The circle, the knights of the table. The, sun, the knights of the round motherfucking table. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm fucking on that table, yeah? I'm on that table. I'm sitting right in the fucking... I'm on that table, man. I'm on the board. You get me? Yeah, I got a knight of the table around my motherfucker. Yeah. I'm, I'm on the board. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Who do you reckon? Who's on the board? Who, like, if, come on. Come I don't on. know, man. I can't really say. I know I'm on the board. You are definitely. Yeah, I can't really say. I can't, so you I can't, know who's on the board. Then. Yeah, I know, but I can't really start saying who's on the board. Because in case someone it's, gets missed out. It's, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then I'm not on the board. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? Have you ever had like, situations where like, uh, like some dub plates have been passed around, but well, they're going to keep them to a certain... Oh, come on, that's standard procedure. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's standard procedure. Like, if, uh, that, like, can't be too washed out. Yeah, or what we do, we, we, we go to secret cutting sessions somewhere else. <gasps> Like like late night cutting sessions, what we used to do, yeah, yeah, late night. So, cutting explain sessions. to me those situations. And I just want to say, you know, I want to say, fucking. By the time this goes out, like fucking, I say, yeah. rest in peace yeah. to Leon of Music House, peace, Leon. Leon, man, like, yeah. devastated to hear yeah, yeah. that. Um, that literally happened today, just before. Yeah, like it's been a hard podcast to get into. Yeah, it's been tough because yeah. just before I got in, there, I got the call from Leon's dad, 
saying that he'd passed away mm. now. Leon, you know, Leon cut all our dub plates mm. at Music House. He's like, mm. he's only young, you know what I mean? How old, but, um, how old was he? He's in his 40s, man. Now he's passed away. Yeah, man. So when he was cutting dubs for us, he was, like, he was like 18, 19 when he was cutting our dubs, you know what I mean? Wow. So he's passed away. So I was going to say, rest, rest in, in peace, peace, man. For real, rest in Gutted. peace. Gutted. Part you know of the culture. Yeah, man. For oh, real. for sure. Without, Big without, part of it. Yeah, yeah, without then. That, that's the eye of the storm right there. That's yeah, the nucleus. That's, that's like, like, Leon, where's, I'm next. Who's next? And at that time, we used to be like, yeah, like, I mean, these are getting cut. So yeah, we're going to cut this tune 10 times. So everyone's just swear, wait, I'm going to have it. I'll have it. I'll have it. And if. Really? So it's yeah. like, it went down like yeah, that. Yeah, we're like, I'll have it. I'll have it. But then if you, if you, got, if you want to keep a tune quiet, say, listen, all right. And meet other fucking copy masters, and then we go, go over there, call George, do like a little nighttime session about five of us, and we cut so that no one's around. Little secret cutting sessions. <laughs> that shit, yo, you guys are ahead of your time on this. That shit. secret, secret cutting sessions. Is what I'm saying. How important was it that a tune was cut and given to the right person for the for the for the exposure of the song? Man, it was it was everything because like you know you could you could like. Sell a record, you can make a tune, cut it, and everyone knows about it. Like, the whole Inst world knows about instantaneously. it. Instantaneously. Instantly. Instantly. And that's the power of a dub plate, you know what I mean? Because of the mixtapes and the packs and that? Yeah, when the, when the packs go out and, you know, people start saying, what's that, what's that? And it just, you know what I mean? And it's crazy because the internet wasn't like an hour, do you know what I mean? But mm. the, like, the, the power of the... the the word of mouth, the power of the word has got out there. And like, it's you know more important I mean? than social media, that. Oh, you know what I mean? It's like crazy. People are like, what's that tune? What's that tune? And like, mm -hmm. it just flies around. You go, oh, who, who do you hear play it? That person. Then you have fucking people cutting tunes they wasn't meant to have. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, you blah, blah. So like, oh, Leon, um, is that that here? Blah, blah, said that I can cut it. Oh, and, he's like, and he's like, oh, I'm going to have to call him. <laughs> I'm going to have to call him to find out if that's right. Yeah, oh, my what I'm God. Ejected from the Black Book immediately. Someone tries to... Yeah. You had that shit going on. you got that shit going on all the time. Really? Yeah. And you got these, you got people, the Russians, they like, might hear a tune in a mixtape and just fucking... Straight line wire it. Just, just yeah. And just fucking... Just, you know, put, start fucking... Like, like, no problem, yeah. Like, like, it's nothing. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, some crazy shit out there, bro. You've got some real... People got the lengths that people go to mm. to, like, to get a tune. It's even now. incredible. Yeah, even now. They're still doing that shit. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do, yeah. I mean, it, 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 it's it's crippling, but at the same time, it's like, well, if you keep... It's, it's Again, back to the industriousness of, like, well, you guys were, like, relentless. Like, mm. this was, like... To, to my understanding, of you know, in my romantic vision of what Jungle was back in the day, it was like, dub plate next, dub plate next, dub plate next. Everyone meet up, right, dub plate next. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just unstoppable. That's exactly what it is. Exactly what it is. Do you know what I mean? Exactly what it is. Fridays at Music House was... It was ridiculous. Do you know what I mean? What time at Friday? Because you would, would have been at the rave, right? You would have gone... Oh, you get there, you get to the music house. Like, I get up early, try and get there for about midday. Man. Maybe maybe before that, just to make sure that I'm, 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 I'm ahead of the queue. My head is blown. And if, and if, I, if I get there as a queue, I'm going to have to push in. Yeah? How I'm many people were there? I don't need to... Oh, there could be like 30 people in the queue. And they're all waiting for the... Everyone's waiting to cut. Do you know what I mean? So if you get there now, I'm like, oh, shit, i got a flight to catch or mm. something. I've got to make some shit up. I've got a flight to catch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Listen, I've got... A, sorry, guys. I've got a flight to catch, yeah? So you know it's what I mean? Really like, the, the, the bird with the, the smallest beat don't get fed. Yeah, it's crazy. That's that's where it, that's that's exactly where it was, man. I get there now. If I got there in front and see David Rodigan or Shaka, they're like, oh, fuck. Because you know David's going to the be home. there all day. <laughs> David's going to be there all day. Like, oh, for fuck's sake, what happens here? <laughs> Yo, take packs. Did, did, did you receive any residuals? Because uh, there was a real cold fall. I mean, Jesus. Mate, we never got no money. For, uh, I think late, late on, we started, I started wanting some money. I'm like, listen, I need some money for this shit. This is getting played. Because, like, oh, you motherfuckers are like, this. these motherfuckers are like fucking, like, you got, you got, you got promoters. That don't even care if they're people at the rave. Mm. They don't care. Mm. They're like, it doesn't matter, there's no one here. They got the tapes. They got the tapes. I'm like, oh, wow. Is that how it's going on? It's only when I started finding out the numbers, I was like, okay, you motherfuckers be eating. Doubling them, man. I'm like, boy, I need, you need to like, put some, something on my plate because what's going on? That must have shocked you when you'd seen that. I was like, whoa. When I saw, heard the numbers, people bought their houses off that, off that tape shit. People bought houses off that shit. It was fucking crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? 
It was literally fucking crazy. That's hindsight, isn't it? Crazy, bro. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I find, I find that, I find that, th that's one of those kind of calculated moves from a, a promoter. It kind of harks back to, I don't know, Little Richard era of mm. rock and roll where mm. they just wouldn't get paid full stop. Yeah. Uh, promoters. You gotta remember at that time there, at that time we were getting good money to DJ, to play. So you get that and you think, I've been paid. Well, what yeah, you yeah. don't know is that you meant to get paid again for the other thing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The kickback. The kickback. And the kickback was big. Hmm. Big. And how much was a dub plate to make? Thirty pound each. See dub plates. Before you know it, you've done ten dub plates or whatever for the month. There you go. And you. There you go. You know what I mean? There you go. It's crazy. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? Wow. What I, I mean, this is this is proper mafioso. Bro, it's crazy. The amount of money we spent on dubs. I've still got piles and piles of them in my in my storage unit. You know what I mean? Piles of them, just like gathering dust. Because I don't fucking play them anymore. Are they all been ripped and stuff? Are they all? Are yeah, they all bad, I, just, I just fucking get everything on digital now. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Have you just, heard stuff on digital where you're just like, oh, the holes in the only one that had that. How come yeah, I got yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. You got some rarities. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Everything was like fucking. Do you know what I mean? Because we had so, we had such a catalogue of music mm -hmm. from the guys, mm -hmm. we couldn't pull it all out. So. Mm -hmm. You know, and we could only put out the best of the best at the time. And you listen back to it now, you're just like, whoa. What were we doing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. Like, I've done some radio show called The Lost Files. And everyone was just like, fuck, what's this? What's this? Mm. And I was just like, None of your nice. business. <laughs> it was nice because I was surprising myself as well. I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that I mean? must be lovely. Beautiful, yeah. man. I'm playing music. I'm like, what the fuck? Do you know what I mean? Do you hear some stuff now that you think to yourself, oh, I could actually put it out tomorrow and it'd be relevant? Yeah. Yeah, you do, don't yeah, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's standard. It's standard. Probably better than them because, mm, it, because of all the warmth mm. and the, the mixing desks and everything. Yeah, like now you can just like really tweak it all up and just shit. shit. And you've you got people going around trying to get old tunes. And do you know anyone who's got any old tunes mm. that they made back in the day? I'll, I'll pay money for them now. I'll give you cash mm. and I can release them. I don't know what fucking market they got, but there's a market for really? it. You know what I mean? How much would you charge a dub? I wonder, imagine if someone came up to you and said, oh, listen, I've got, I'm, I'm, I've got money for days. How, mu how much for some dub plays? What would be your most pressured that you would... How much would you sell a dub play for? Oh, no, I was going to say that. I wouldn't. You wouldn't? Nah. You just wouldn't, would you? No. Nah. See? The craft man. Nah, there's no, there's no, there's no price on that. Is it all a his, it's, it's the history. It's the knowing it's, that you have it. I have sold some though before. Cause I, some I remember once I had a fucking, but it, there weren't dub players. I, I sold like a lot of promos. You know, I used to get all these promos through the door every fucking mm. every day. Just get all these fucking promos. That shit would just just think, oh, I fucking play it. It's like, oh, what mm. the fuck is this? Mm. I had, like piles of it. I just thought, fuck's sake. Mm. Someone goes, yeah, do you want to sell them all? I goes, well, all of them, yeah. Take a fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. lot of them, yeah, like yeah. five thousand of them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? What Think do you I... listen for when you would get receive those promos? Because that takes a lot of money and a lot of ambition, doesn't no, it? No, no, just sit there, fucking with the fucking cardboard fucking mailer things and all that. Yeah. It's like what the fuck? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's like that's a whole job in itself. It's ridiculous, mate. And the fucking half of them tunes was shit. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, mate, drop me out. I just <laughs> fucking come and get him. Come and get him, right? Take this pie here, right? Just give me some dough. Yeah, you know what I mean? She's paying Fuck. you to do that shit. Mate, it's fucking ridiculous, mate. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so the new album's going to come. Yeah, bro. Do you know what I mean? I'm ready to roll it out, man. Death I'm like, fire. just over halfway through it. Through lockdown, I've just literally just been working on this album. And I've just started the book as well. So hopefully I can get it all out by next summer. It's all about the combo, isn't it? It's all about the... Get the combo, man. Mm. You know, you know, we know there's no there's no money in making that album anymore. Mm. It's about the, the merchandising, the touring, mm. and the other things you can go in the back of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, you just have to get a package together yeah. and try to make it more appealing yeah, absolutely. and mass appeal to everyone. Yeah. And, do you know what I mean? Jungle, right, drum and bass scene have always been proficient at that, haven't they? It's, yeah. It's, they're always been forward thinking about how to... And it's, it's, it's for the... The, it's for the consumer. Yeah. I've always felt like Jungle is all about the consumer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, they, yeah. they try very imaginative and creative ways to make re return some, some yeah, profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. always admired the way that you yeah, guys are Yeah, because we, um, we, we were the first ones to put out, we put out a CD in a tin, like a tin, and we've done a five-pack vinyl. Mm -hmm. We always try and find a little mm -hmm. different different ways to... To um to make it appealing yeah. for our for our people, yeah. do you know what I mean? People love it. Come yeah. up with something quirky for them, you know. You always got to find a new way because people just you know they always want something new, didn't they? Yeah. Want a new something to talk about. Have you seen it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to sell it. You got to package it and sell yeah. it. Do you know what I mean? 
It's inspiring. It's mm. inspiring. We'll Good listen, brother. We know how it is. And we know what we're doing here again. You, you know what I mean? You want to catch some more intel, some more information on sex, drugs, and drum and bass with the big band heavy book. It's yeah, it's just come back in stock. Back in stock. Just got back in stock. Um, you can, if you want to order it, go to my Twitter, at DJ JJ Frost. Mm -hmm. There's loads of links there. You can just click on it and order, and you'll get delivery to your door in a few days, man. Anywhere you haven't been? China. China. You want to go to China? No, not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, I've been. It's great. It's yeah. great. It's great. But I know what you mean. After a while, do you feel like... Uh, I mean, I, I find like as I get older, I appreciate the travelling a lot more. Mm, but, mm. but after a while, it's like you... You kind of become slightly complacent in the fact that you've done it all your life, and that's, yeah. this is what I do. Yeah, what yeah. weird if you don't do it, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I think times like this lockdown makes you appreciate it even more. Yeah, for You're sure. Just like, oh my god, I just want to get on an airplane again. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I just want to sit on a beach. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The downtime as well. You lot, I remember winter music conference. You guys were playing football down oh, at the yeah. beach. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. SS we're, versus, I don't know. Yeah, we were, we were going all out. Yeah, man, be swift. He was a big foot be up, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like you lot love a bit of football, don't you? <laughs> Mate, we're all massive football fans and we all love a bit of football. We had a little team going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're all big football heads, man. Mm, massive. Yeah, there's that fucking, yeah. You know, I haven't played for a while, but I know... Them boys are still like, you know, Mampy, he's a beast, mate. Mm, beast. He is a beast. Mate, a he beast. looks so well as well. Oh, he's a lovely guy as well. Yeah. Beautiful. And big up SS as well, World of Drum and Bass, yeah, yeah, all yeah, yeah. day. Like, yeah, I man. Can't even keep his pocket going without saying what's up to SS. That's my yeah, dog. That's, I love S, man. He pretty yeah. much put, I mean, between doing, I did the World of Drum and Bass Awards mm. where, I, where I kicked off doing the beatbox there. Yeah. That became a bit of a, a snowball effect, but S pretty much adopted me mm. into that drum and bass mm. world immediately. If it weren't for S, so, I mean, we yeah. probably wouldn't be sitting here talking, okay. you know? Yeah, S is, you know, I put out some of my, a couple of my first ever tunes, my hard, when I was doing the hardcore mm. on his on his label. Mm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I've got a lot of history with S. I've got a lot of time for him as well, yeah. man. And again, it's a country thing. Like, drum and bass, it's, it, it has these pockets of community, you know? Yeah. Baseline Smith, hold on, you know? It's yeah, like, yeah, it's all my guys. People, it's number yeah. one is my guy as well, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Mm. And again, if you want to check out more of this business, you, you just got to get to a rave, man. Like, get to... We need it. to get back out there. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, you know, don't cook itself. You got to get out there and dance to it, man. That's right, man. Big shout out, my brother. my brother. Thank you so much for passing through. Big love, my brother. Every time, yeah? All big day, love. all day, all Come day. Come on now. Ladies and gentlemen. People, jump. big love, yeah? That's right. Big respect. Jumping Jack Frost inside the place. Killer Killer Podcast striking once again. Don't forget, check the television app. It's out there, live and direct. We're out like that. Stay lucky, people. Peace. Boom. <laughs>